Huawei Ab Gallery is back with some amazing savings for everyone that's purchasing packs in Lords Mobile. That's right, you'll be getting up to 25% back on everything you purchase, which is sure to put a smile on your face. All you need to do is buy your packs to collect gems and then exchange those gems for real cash coupons that allow you to make your money go further when buying packs in Lords Mobile. If you're not using this, guys, you're doing it wrong. Save money with Huawei App Gallery. What's going on guys? It's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with another Lords mobile video and in today's video I've got some rally action for you so get yourself comfy and grab those milk and cookies. Now we're starting off with a target from PXD. I got a notification come through on the, on the phone saying hey there's a rally being set so I jumped on to come and join the rally and noticed it's Mr. Bitcoin, one of our new players in TWK who set the rally against Golf to do here in speed gear by the looks of things. Uh, 1.5 billion might. It's an R4 of the guild, so you would expect them to be fairly active. The question is, are they going to be online? Are they baiting? You don't ever really know, to be honest. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Mr. Bitcoin, I haven't seen him do really any rallies yet because he's only just joined recently. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this one goes. So looking forward to it. This, now this first rally is going to be a range rally because apparently it's a cavalry front target. Oh no. <laughs> and I wasn't sure whether the rally was going to fill or not because you see we needed 200k there. But I mean cav front, I think I'd probably still send it. Especially if you're going for the front line, 2.1's enough. But last second clutch, those troops from JK Killer come flying in. So pretty good stuff. And the rally starts walking. Now we've got no gear swap. It's walking really slow as well, but still no gear swap here. Looks like this person might be offline. Here goes the rally. It's hit. Okay. Really good damage. Really good damage. 11.8 million. 256 million might total loss on that on that hit obviously that's including the rally as well it's about 150 million might drop for the target wow that's kind of huge i figured all the cav was dead so i went straight in and set an infantry rally because my my guess is well yeah this definitely is a cav front target i set infantry on the hope that it's in cav foul because in cavalry foul the second line of troops will indeed be ranged so not only that, though, the fact that all the cav is kind of dead <laughs> after that first hit, um, there's only going to be infantry and range left in there. So sending infantry is the best bet. I didn't want to gamble a cav rally at this point, you know, just in case it is cav foul, because then otherwise my cav is going to go straight into a bunch of range. And we all know how that ends up, right? <laughs> So I'm just going through the motions. You can see I'm just setting my formation, setting my jewels. I only really had to rejewel one piece because I'm fortunate enough now to have enough extra pieces in my blasts now that I don't really have to rejewel too much these days when I'm switching between mix and spears. Thankfully, oh, it's taken long enough to get to that point. I'm still not quite finished yet, but it certainly is nice. Okay, so yep, yeah, just this. I actually want to get myself a, a leader. I noticed that Mr. Bitcoin didn't get himself a lead when he hit, although he still hit like a freight train, so it didn't really matter really. But I wanted to make sure I got myself a leader twice so I could kill one for the auto boost and also have one for that extra 30% army attack. Gonna put myself under 70% attack boost on as well. Ain't taking no chances. I'm not gonna pop a bunny because I feel like after that first hit, he can't have many troops left in there as far as cav goes. So I should be safe with this infantry blast. There's been no healing, no gear swap, no action, no reinforcements from this guy. Oh, no reinforcements from PXD. Ouch. They probably didn't want to get in fury, I guess. And here comes the last few seconds. We're going to start walking in now with the infantry. There it is. As we start slowly walking in, no need to rush, no need to carpet. We're just going to walk it in nice and slow. We need to burn him to rescue Bitcoin's leader. And there it is. Boom. <laughs> There's the fire, baby. And we get a pretty good hit. 4.7. You know, 62 mil might drop. Unfortunately for me, he was in cavalry wedge. Ugh. Which means, of course, it's not range on the second line. It's infantry on the second line. So I went straight into imp. 
and they've got a decent amount of tier four and tier five so yeah not massive damage but into the infantry familiar damage on the range ah oh, man <laughs> it's just my luck isn't it but what needs to happen now of course now we know it's infantry on the second line we do need to set a cav rally so i, I kind of wish i went cav on my second one i just didn't want to run the risk of hitting that range if it was in cavalry phalanx but now we know it's in cav wedge we can now get the job done so mr bitcoin has once again set the rally now he's got his leader back and it's going to be a cavalry blast straight into that infantry this should be an absolute banger of a hit regardless whether there's range in there they're on the back line this still should be a really good hit the damage factor should definitely be in he's got a lot of tier four in here i think he started off with like nine to ten million tier four total in this castle so yeah a lot of tier four and there's a lot of tier four inf in there here comes the cav blast from mr bitcoin how much damage is he gonna do well let's find out boom there's the hit nice big burn i quickly go and set an infantry rally and now we can just take a breath and take a look at the battle report let's take a look and see how much damage mr bitcoin did let's have a look at it oh 172 million might drop ouch 7.7 .7 million red deads there whoa that's an absolute massive hit and as you can see he wiped out all of the infantry there just is a lot of tier 4 tier 5 and tier 2 range left now technically i probably could have soloed this with an infantry blast because it's just range in there but, you know, it's best to share the your kills with the guild, which is why I went ahead and set a rally instead. Looks like there's going to be no life from this player. Looks like they're not coming online at all. The rest of his guild are not active at all. No rains, no scouting. It's just like dead in the water here. So here comes my infantry blast straight into the range. And I think we all know how that rally ended up. <laughs> there's the zero, baby, with the 7.7 .7 million red deads and 191 million might drop. Oof, that's an absolute banger of a hit there. So pretty good stuff. Okay, moving on to another target here. This was a few hours later. Another notification comes through. The guys have set a rally on this chaos stitch. 1.2 build might in monster gear. I have no idea what guild this uh, castle is part of or what they're doing here or anything. They've also got a Chaos Simba next to it that was empty, but I log in to see Finger Licking going in with the rally. And uh, let's have a look and see what happens here. So no gear swap on this Chaos Stitch. And boom! Oh, it's a big hit. That's a big hit, guys. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at that battle report. And as you can see, 7 million. Oh, that's a nasty hit. 16.8 million troops in total. So not as many troops as the previous castle, but an absolutely delicious mill here, right here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can see that cav rally went to work, wiped out all of the infantry in there, which is pretty good stuff. Um, I could see that TW dollar sign had ported over to set the second rally. And look, I weren't sure whether or not they were full or not. So yeah, I decided to go ahead and jump over to TW dollar sign to see if they need any help filling at all. Plus, if I can get into another rally, it means more kills, right? <laughs> That's the great thing about having families of guilds, man. You can just jump between the two and it's just as easy as that. And uh, as you can see, they need 300,000 troops. So I guess we best put up a size boost and just help them out a little bit, right? So there we go. Let's go ahead and send in that tier five. To pure tier five, look at that. Let's go, baby. We ain't taking, we ain't pulling no punches today. Full tier five range going in for Spinny Boy. Let's have a look and see what he can do. So speed those troops back in. Beautiful stuff. And uh, yeah, just in time. We've got about 25 seconds here before Spinny Boy walks in. And there's again, there's there's like what seven eight million troops left, so it should be pretty good. Although, <laughs> although, 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 Spinny Boy is actually going to have the same problem as I had in the formation that he's going to hit in um he's gone i think it's infantry now is it cav front i can't remember what front this was now so anyway the troops that spinny's sending he's hoping to get a money shot here but i think he's going to go into the same troop type just like i did um it's always unfortunate when you guess that wrong but you can't risk hard to guess it right anyway oh it's range that's right so this guy is in an infantry wedge yeah i guess it's infantry wedge the calves at the back ranger's second line it's still a good hit 4.6 mil like it's still a really good hit so gg 76 million might drop but you know he was looking for that second line of cavalry thinking it's infantry phalanx 
obviously didn't know this when he set the rally because he set the rally kind of the, just after we set ours in TWK and we weren't sure if it was info for info wet sorry phalanx or wedge but overall still a really really good hit nonetheless but it gives us an opportunity to get another rally in from TWK yes we now we know we can solo it but unfortunately what well, fortunately we like to do share the kills out you know unless it's just like under a million troops we normally just finish them off with rallies just so we can completely share the kills out so i jump back to twk to see if i can get into a third rally but unfortunately it is full so i'm not going to ask for a split because that just is annoying i'm just going to let them continue with the rally without me in it i've joined two so i'm happy um, and i'm sitting there and i noticed that, that this gets posted in the chat saying prince solo target this 267 million might guy out of gear looks like he's in some kind of gold production gear so i go ahead and put my infantry gear on and tee myself up for a nice infantry blast and i'm just gonna while we're waiting for this rally to go i'm gonna go ahead and do a solo here almost pure tier five at this nearly 300 million mic castle so let's go ahead and speed it across the kingdom with level three boots run out of level three boots so i guess we've got to use the level twos speeding it in hit the map by accident oops and then i have to spin it easy if, look, if this person's online they've seen this by now so it doesn't really matter but keep speeding it in and boom i didn't get capped so that's a good thing and it's on fire let's go i didn't even know how many troops were in the car so i was like well he said solo target so i'll solo it down to 211 million might and as you can see a really juicy 2.1 million red deads on that target with 30 million might drop that's a nice little solo right there and a nice little solo target with just around about 600k each tier three and just over 600k each tier two so yeah, juicy little solo target there, which was yummy, yummy. But going back to the rally. Yes, it's faction all the way on this one, guys. Back to the rally. We've got uh, Red Sox going in on Chaos Stitch. This should be the final rally for this target. And uh, let's see how this one goes. Only a few seconds before um, Red starts walking in. It's going to be the Cav Blast, of course. The range is, for the most part, gone there's like 200k there you can see in the chat there's like 200k range at the front but that's not enough to block a cav blast this should be able to go straight past that range and into those juicy infantry troops here comes red Sox walking in at a reasonable pace taking her time and let's see how much damage she can do so here we go and boom there it is beautiful stuff down to a billion might lovely that the people are going to start soloing there's the 4.3 mil wow beautiful here 88 million might drop and as you can see it's under a million troops left 800k so as i mentioned earlier we won't rally that the peeps will go in and start soloing now as it's a very small amount of troops left there's no point in setting another rally and so yeah the rest of the solos go in and bye bye that's the end of chaos stitch guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to smash the like button don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos or streams i'll be back at you real real soon but until then you know how this next bit goes stay safe everyone and of course peace out